So now we'll talk about the navigation tools in Fusion 360. And to navigate in Fusion 360, it is recommended that you use a three button mouse with the left click, right click and the middle mouse wheel with the click function. And that's the same kind of mouse which I'm using, a simple three button mouse. Now, to navigate in this drawing area, I'll just click my middle mouse wheel and I'll press and hold it and now the cursor will change into this hand icon and if I move my cursor now if I move my mouse along with it it's gonna move my entire drawing and that's called panning the drawing so press and hold your middle mouse wheel and move your mouse and you're gonna pan your entire drawing to orbit the drawing press and hold your shift key and now click your middle mouse wheel and this time it will change into this kind of orbit icon and now you can orbit your drawing in different directions so simply move it and you will be able to orbit it in different direction you can do the same kind of orbit using this view cube as well so on this view cube just grab it using your left click and now move your view cube and here you are you can just move this view cube and along with that your object will move in the drawing area the view cube will not only help you in orbiting your drawing, but it will also help you in setting different kind of views. Right now, if you hover your cursor over view cube, you'll notice that different control points are highlighted. These control points can be activated just by clicking on it. For example, if I click on the top, it's going to take us to the top view. Now you can clearly see we have X, Y, and Z axis right next to the view cube. So that's a great visual clue of where your axes lie in this drawing. Now, if you want to move your view 90 degree to any direction, then click these arrows. So I want to move my view 90 degree to the left. So I'm gonna click on this and now it will take me 90 degree to the left, which is the front view. Now, in this plane, if you want to rotate your view, to 90 degrees then click this arrow it's gonna take you to 90 degree in anti-clockwise click this it will take you to 90 degree clockwise I'm gonna click on this one now to go to the home view click this home icon and this will take you to this isometric view which is also the home view now you can also change the type of view here right now we are looking at this drawing in the orthographic view but if you want to change that then click this arrow which is right underneath this view cube and then change it to perspective in the perspective view your drawing will look a bit skewed and the objects closer to you will look larger and the one further away from you will look smaller so perspective view is just like looking at a drawing in the real world but we won't do that and instead we'll use the orthographic view which will give us a better understanding of the project because in perspective view the parallel lines don't appear parallel they appear to merge at a point and you can see that using these grid lines so right now these grid lines are parallel but if you look at these one they appear to converge at a point and the further these lines are smaller they tend to become so here they are so that's a great example of what a perspective view is now I'm going to change it back to orthographic and now let's talk about the zoom in and zoom out tool now to zoom in all you need to do is just rotate your mouse wheel in one direction and to zoom out zoom in in another direction the center of zoom in and zoom out will be the position of your cursor so if I place my cursor on this on this hole of this drawing then the drawing will zoom in or zoom out on this hole if I place it here the drawing will zoom in or zoom out on this hole now if you want to change your view and want to keep that as a home view then you can do that using this view cube option so change your view then go to this down pointing arrow and now here we have an option of setting the view as home so right now I'm just going to select this fixed distance view and now this will be our home view so I'll just orbit my drawing and if I click on this home view now it's going to take us back to that view now to reset it again go to this reset home and now we have the home view again back to normal
Now, if for some reason you are not happy with the way your drawing looks, for example, the current top view is this, but let's say that you don't want this as a current top view and you want this view as the top view. Now, if that's the case, then you can change that as well. So currently this view is front. I'll change it to top. To do that, I'll click on this down pointing arrow and I'll select set view as, I'll select top. And now this view will become top. And with respect to this view, other views will change. So now if I go to this one, this is going to become the back view. And similarly, I'll have this as the front. The bottom will become front. Now to reset this, once again, click on this down pointing arrow and select reset front. And everything is reset. Click this home. We are back to normal. So these are different navigation tools and you can access these using your mouse as well as ViewCube. But that's not all about navigation tools and you can access navigation tools using this navigation bar as well. So here on the navigation bar, the first tool which we have is the orbit and we have the free orbit as well as the constrained orbit. So I'm going to select free orbit and this is just like pressing and holding the shift key and orbiting it. But in this case, we do have this kind of circle which will help us orbit our drawing in a much more restricted but in a controlled way as well. So you'll have greater control over your drawing when you use this orbit. Now I'm going to select constrained orbit and this is exactly like orbiting your drawing just by pressing and holding the control key. So it just depends on the kind of preference which you have and you can use any of these orbit tools or you can also use your mouse wheel for this. Now the next one is our look at and look at is really great if you want to directly make any plane parallel to your view direction. So in this case, we are looking at this drawing in kind of a random way. But now let's say that we want to make this one as our top view and we want to look at this view parallel to our screen. For that, I can click on look at, select this plane and now this plane will become parallel to our view angle. Now if you have drawing containing several faces, you can just click on look at and select any other face and that's going to become the face parallel to your view direction. Now we have the next tool, which is pan tool, which is just like pressing and holding your middle mouse wheel. So I'm going to just select this using left click. And now look at this using just my left click. I am able to pan my drawing. And similarly, instead of rotating the mouse wheel, you can also select the zoom tool from here. And now if I left click and move my cursor up, it's going to zoom out. Moving it down will zoom in. Finally, we have the tool here that will allow us to make a window for zooming in. For example, I'll select zoom window and now I want to zoom only this hole. So for this, I'm going to make a small window right across this hole and now it will zoom only this hole in my drawing area. Similarly, if you just want to fit the entire drawing in your current drawing area, you can just go to this one, the next option, which is fit. You can also use its function key F6. So I'm going to select fit and now this will fit our drawing in the visible drawing area. Even when your drawing is extremely tiny and even when it is out of view, you can simply go to this option and select fit and this will take it back to the fit screen and it will fit it right in. So these are all the navigation tools that you can use in Fusion 360.